Hello, it's Jennifer Harding Marlin. Today's video is going to talk about the comparison between the Cayman Islands and St. Kitts and Nevis and a little bit more information about these two countries. We have a lot of people who contact us who are interested in relocating to either St. Kitts and Nevis or the Cayman Islands, so I thought that this video could help by providing more information so you can make more of an informed decision on what is best for you and your particular situation. So the population of the Cayman Islands is larger when compared to St. Kitts and Nevis. The population of Cayman is approximately 70,000 people. St. Kitts and Nevis is probably around 55,000. And again, it's increasing. There's a lot of seasonal visitors to both the countries. So the population varies over time. And the population of St. Kitts and Nevis is spread over both the islands of St. Kitts and Nevis. The Cayman Islands, most of the population is centered in Grand Cayman, but there's also Little Cayman and Cayman Brac as well, where people live. So the, the population of Cayman Islands is much more diverse when compared to St. Kitts and Nevis. There's approximately 135 nationalities in the Cayman Islands, which is really impressive. There's people from New Zealand, Australia. There's a lot of people from South Africa, Canada, the United States, the UK. A lot of people from the UK work at firms here and uh, different businesses here on island. And then St. Kitts and Nevis is a much more local population. So people that have grown up on the island for most of their life, there's a lot of really nice local people. And then there's people that are from Canada, the UK, the US, India, and elsewhere. Although there's most likely not 135 nationalities in, in St. Kitts and Nevis. So then a little bit more about sort of the cost of living. So Cayman Islands is really, really expensive to live. It's probably much more expensive than Canada and the United States to live. Compared to 2016, 2017, the prices have tripled in price. It's really quite expensive to live in the Cayman Islands. If you go to the grocery store and you want to buy fresh fruit, you're looking at $10 CI for a really small package of raspberries. A lot of the foods are imported here in the Cayman Islands. The cost of living is less in St. Kitts and Nevis and in my view it's actually significantly less and so right now i'm filming this video while i'm in the cayman islands but uh, one of the things that i really miss about st kitts and nevis is just driving on the side of the road and stopping and buying fresh fruits such as watermelon mangoes cucumber like any type of pretty much any type of fresh fruit you name it uh, bananas and just having like local grown fresh produce that's so accessible and that's like quite affordable um, which they don't have here in the Cayman Islands. So uh, if you want to buy real estate, Cayman Islands is much more expensive as well. Most of the population, a lot of the population is centered around and activities are centered around Kamada Bay and Seven Mile Beach. So Seven Mile Beach is this really beautiful stretch of beach with white, white sand and crystal blue water. It's named one of the top beaches in the world. It's a lot, there's a lot of uh, tourists that come specifically to visit Seven Mile Beach. So St. Kitts and Nevis doesn't have white, white sand like Cayman Islands. The beaches are golden brown, they're a volcanic ash. And, um, you know, it's much more affordable to get beachfront property in St. Kitts and Nevis or any type of property in St. Kitts and Nevis when compared to Cayman Islands. And so St. Kitts and Nevis is a lot more lush in vegetation. There's a, uh, it's mountainous. There's a lot of trees. Cayman Islands is a flat island. So, you know, the, the mountain is Mount Trashmore, which I'll talk about more in a little bit. But basically, um, there, there's no mountains in, in Cayman Islands. So if you're someone that's a mountain lover or a nature lover, that's something that Cayman is lacking that St. Kitts and Nevis has. And then in terms of healthcare, Cayman Island by far is superior in healthcare when compared to St. Kitts and Nevis. So Cayman has um, Cayman Health City. There's lots of hospitals and doctors available on island as well as physiotherapists, acupuncturists, and any sort of health related um, health related services they have here. And actually this morning when I woke up, I read an article about two children that were transported to the hospital here in Cayman to get treatment. So Cayman Islands does see people from other islands come here to get treatment. If you're looking for health insurance, I'm actually, uh, I'm also a resident of, I have citizen of St. Kitts and Nevis, but I'm also a resident of the Cayman Islands and through Cayman Special Enterprise City, it's a requirement to have health insurance. So I have health insurance with a company called 
Brit K in the Cayman Islands. And I recently had to go to the doctor and I'll just tell you a little bit about my experience. So I had a really bad earache and I needed medication for my ear. I walked in, did have a, a prior appointment. I was seen within two minutes. I saw the doctor, it took five to 10 minutes. I went to the pharmacy, I got the medication and I was out the door. So my doctor's visit with my health insurance, which was the most basic plan, cost me 30 US dollars, which was affordable. However, if you're someone that's going to need a lot more care, it's gonna be a lot more expensive, obviously. So you would have to do your research on that um, in terms of affordability of the healthcare. And then in terms of traffic, so St. Kitts and Nevis, I would say would win in terms of traffic. Here in Cayman Islands, it is quite bad, especially with the increased population. There's a lot more cars on the road. A lot of people are in a rush to get to work in the morning or in a rush to get home at night. So there is quite a bit of traffic. St. Kitts and Nevis, there's less cars on the road. So there's more, um, you don't really have a traffic jam at all. There's actually no traffic light in Nevis. They recently introduced traffic lights in St. Kitts. So there is a, you know, you could have a little bit of a traffic jam in St. Kitts and both, both islands receive tourists via cruise ship. So if you're in the town there, you know, you might be stopped because tourists are crossing the road. And a lot of times tourists, they drive on the other side of the road. So they don't look both ways. So as a driver, you really have to be careful so as not to hit a tourist that is not paying attention. And, uh, the shopping opportunities, there's much more shopping opportunities here in, Saint, uh, in Cayman Islands. There's uh, dive shops, boutique shops for clothing and other items. And most people actually don't buy their clothes here locally. They'll go to Miami or they'll go elsewhere to buy clothing. And then in St. Kitts and Nevis, there's less options in terms of shopping. Both have jewelry stores, so if you're someone that's into jewelry, both the Cayman Islands and St. Kitts and Nevis have um, a lot of jewelry stores. Um, and then what else was going to say? Oh yeah, in terms of the grocery stores, so Cayman Islands has a lot more selection in terms of the groceries, but then they don't have as much fresh produce. And what's interesting about the Cayman Islands is that some of the grocery stores here in Cayman Islands, they're, I think, even superior to grocery stores in Canada where you have pretty much any product you can think of versus St. Kitts and Nevis, you have much more limited products available. So you might not have all the ingredients that you want to make a, a specific dish. So overall, Cayman Islands is more developed. There's more buildings, there's more infrastructure, there's bigger hotels. They also receive a lot more tourists. St. Kitts and Nevis, there are a lot of nice hotels and nice buildings, but there's not as many, it's not as developed or as many buildings when compared to Cayman. And as the new marketing for St. Kitts and Nevis, which I've seen, seen a lot of is like what the Caribbean used to be. So if you're someone that's looking for a really authentic Caribbean experience, St. Kitts and Nevis is very, you know, very traditional, traditional Caribbean. So it's a little bit for some people that are moving from abroad that have never lived in another country. It can be a lot culturally different in St. Kitts and Nevis versus Cayman Islands is very culturally similar to Canada and the United States. So in terms of schooling, a lot of people in St. Kitts and Nevis, there's a Montessori school in St. Kitts and Nevis and there are schooling opportunities. A lot of people choose to, from the expat community, choose to homeschool their kids. So if you're looking for more of a non-traditional route towards education, a lot of people sometimes take that in St. Kitts and Nevis. And then in the Cayman Islands, there's more options in terms of a variety of schools, although schooling is very, very expensive. So again, I've touched on this, the cost of living. I recently was talking to someone that's a UK, that was formerly from the UK that moved here that works in a law firm, and they were saying that they did the calculation and it's actually cheaper to live in the UK and pay taxes than to live here in the Cayman Islands and not pay tax if you have to factor in paying for schooling and all the activities and things that there are to do in the Cayman Islands. Cayman Islands does have a lot more activities. There's a lot more people. Versus St. Kitts and Nevis, uh, there's not as many activities and you have to find people to go out and do things. But what I love about St. Kitts and Nevis is not overcrowded and you really have like more of an intimate experience with people. 
Um, you see a lot of the same people quite a bit. And, um, you know, there are, there are stuff to do in, in both islands. You just need to find people to be able to do an activity with. So in Cayman Islands, there's a swimming pool. Unfortunately, in St. Kitts and Nevis, we don't have a swimming pool yet, but we're working on getting one. And then, you know, one of the activities that I like here in Cayman Islands is F45 gym, which I've recently started. So they don't have an F45 gym, although they do have gym facilities in St. Kitts and Nevis such as the Marriott, for example, that has a really nice gym, the Marriott residences, sorry. And so this is just a little bit of a comparison between the two. I love both. There's not sort of one that I favor more than the other. I'd love to be able to kind of mix the two, bring elements of Cayman to St. Kitts and Nevis and bring elements of St. Kitts and Nevis to Cayman Islands. We have a lot of people that are interested in doing citizenship by investment and residency by investment. People often choose to do citizenship by investment either in St. Kitts and Nevis or another island like Antigua or St. Lucia, Dominica or Granada, for example. And then some people are also interested in having a backup to their citizenship and do residency in the Cayman Islands. A lot of one popular option is to establish an entity through Cayman's special economic zone. And then some people are interested in spending part of their time in Cayman Islands and St. Kitts and Nevis and or elsewhere throughout the Caribbean. We have a lot of people that are interested in living in St. Bart's. So there's lots of great places in the Caribbean, but this just summarizes a little bit more about the different countries and I'd be happy for your feedback. And if there's any questions, feel free to reach out. All the best, bye for now, bye.